all eyes now on the GOP swing senators, Collins and Murkowski, both supportive of abortion rights and what they think about Judge Kavanaugh's comments. There were many of them on Roe v. Wade. Let's bring in Democratic strategist Dave Brown and Judicial Crisis Network attorney Gail Trotter. Welcome to you both. Thank Great you. Great to be with you. Okay. Shannon. With Kavanaugh's, his part of the testimony over here, are a couple of headlines out there. This from the New York Times, Kavanaugh will kill the Constitution. That's by Paul Krugman. The Washington Post has this. Mitch McConnell has saved the Constitution. That's by Hugh Hewitt. Because he's nominated people like Kavanaugh. Uh, Dave, that's quite a contrast in analyses of where we are now. It is, but I think it illustrates, uh, one, no one expected this, this uh, confirmation process to be easy. Uh, I think we, we saw after what Mitch McConnell did to Merrick Garland, Judge Garland, that uh, you know, the politi politicalization by Senate Republicans uh, for the Supreme Court is now just at its, at its uh, apex. Wait, 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 wait. Just the Senate Republicans? Well, obviously, Shannon, because Democrats, <laughs> I mean, Democrats, to, you Democrats have to agree. are. There's a little are, bit of bipartisan uh, Dem Democrats responsibility. Are, here. Democrats are. I'm holding us harmless on this one, Shannon. Okay, all right. Um, but look, I, I, I think that what, what was confirmed through this week is something that many people, uh, Democrats and also a lot of independents, and, and this is borne out, by the way, by how soft Judge Kavanaugh's polling numbers are across the country. I mean, he enjoys some of the softest support. No one that knows any, who he is. And yet, if I and walked yet, down the street in Tallahassee, Florida, where I'm from, and said, what is the name of the president's nominee? How many people are going to know that? Well, How can you poll someone that, actually, that people don't even hang know? On, though, doesn't that actually really concern you that the American people haven't even had an opportunity to get to know this well, Supreme now Court they nominee? Do know. I mean, he's about to. Him. He's about if he's confirmed, he will move the court to a permanent hard right majority. Unlike he's replacing mm. Justice Kennedy, who was very much a swing vote, kept the court an equal issues. an equilibrium. And this is someone who is so far to the right of Justice Kennedy, he's moving the court for generations to come. American okay. people, the American people should know who let's, he is. Let's bring in Gail, because, I, listen, I talked to conservatives, and even during the process when the names were floating, there were some of those who didn't feel like that he's going to be conservative enough for them. So there are detractors on the left and the right. You really never know until a justice is sworn in and starts making tough decisions. Right, that's absolutely true. And so many things that you said were just so wrong. The Senate Republicans were merely following the uh, Biden rule with Judge Merrick Garland. And now it's true that Judge Kavanaugh has had the chance through these hearings to show who he is, to show that he's faithful to the Constitution, he's independent, he believes in the independence of the judiciary branch, and he also has the judicial temperament. We were talking about uh, how there were so many history histrionics and protests. I think there were over 200 people who were arrested during the hearings. And Judge Kavanaugh was steady. He was solid. He was able to have a temperament that showed that he was able to communicate with the senators despite all the distractions. And that's exactly why the American Bar Association gave him their highest qualification and why Yale University law professor, who's liberal, Akhil Lamar, testified today saying that he is an excellent choice for the the Supreme Court vacancy. Dave, what do you make about those folks uh, on that end of the spectrum, more liberal, and those on the left who say, listen, you could do much worse with Republicans. This is a guy who actually they believe is going to adhere to the Constitution of statutes and the Constitution, whether he likes the the end result of the way that they're written or not. Yeah, I think they're wrong. Look, Shannon, uh, the, the, what, <laughs> okay, what's striking to me... Based on what? Let, let, let me answer, let me answer <laughs> okay. that question, or try to at least for you. What's striking to me is, is what we, we learned this week uh, from the uh, papers that the Senate Republicans had tried to keep secret. Uh, and, and Cory Booker and others helped to, to force into the light. And particularly, Don't even get that on that. Yes. hang on. Let me let me let me let me, let me try that, to make Shannon. this point because I think it's, it goes directly to the heart of your question. Um, you know, look at look at Judge Kavanaugh's position even on on Roe v. Wade and on on women's reproductive rights. Uh, he talks about Roe. He at least Senator Collins has said that in private conversations he's he said to her that Roe is, is set a law. But we know for a fact. Uh, that when he was editing an op-ed as a, as a counsel uh, for President Bush, that he, he made a point to say, in fact, it's, it's not uh, unanimously understood as settled law. And so what no, that suggests, what that suggests, yeah, what, he what that suggests is, that. what that suggests is that. that he is, while he understands that, that precedent is precedent, yeah. he is completely open and he recognizes the possibility that, okay. that a Supreme wait, wait, Court can overturn precedent. I need precedent. to stop you right As there because we, we want to talk precedent. about this in a factual way so we can all debate it I think I, everything yes. I said was pretty factual. I just read what the email before said, we came on air. What he said in that email that was re released is he said there was a line in the article that said it was settled law and all legal scholars believed it was settled. He said, I thought it was more accurate to say, no, there are some people in the field who are out there arguing that maybe Rose not settled. He didn't say that's how he and then he listed off. Then he listed off justice. Three, three sitting ju well, justices. And that's actually the point. Right. The fact that 
the fact that he's signaling that, no, that he's Roe is still signaling. open for debate. He's not signaling and Roe, at all. all right, he listens to three justices. Final, final word to Gail. Final word to you. Yeah, well, I just think when you talk about women's rights, I think the highlight of the confirmation hearing was when the girls' basketball team came in and reminded me of how much Judge Kavanaugh has mentored young women who need uh, success. He had more female clerks and, than male. Yeah, he had more female clerks than right. uh, male, and he has a personal investment through that, through the basketball right, team. we got to leave it there, but by the way, once they were all lined up in there and they were adorable and smart and fabulous, uh, there were a couple of senators who were like, oh, dang it. Now, there goes my line of questioning. What do I do with all of these uh, team members sitting back there? Right.